This is Radar from the Winter Tape Blog, coming to the edition of MLB Observations, Week 23 of the 2022 season. The the Giants. We've been over the Tyro Estrada and Brandon Crawford are not middle order hitters. Stop adding them fifth. Lamonte Wade Jr. is a center fielder by Trey Tuffling at first page. You got enough infielders and guys can play first. I do like the Lewis Brinson, who's back in the major leagues, playing in the leadoff spot, playing center field. He's doing pretty well. Then Lestella's top, I get a DH spot on him when he could be playing the infield and someone else could DH. Cubs, Nico Horner. Not a cleanup hitter. Okay, batting second's been good. Suzuki, he's batted all over the place. Second's been okay. Magical McKinstry, perfect in the leadoff spot. Ortega, he's got speed and defense. He's not a DH. He's not a five hitter. That's not where he belongs. Happ has been great as an all-star this year, batting third. Why bat him cleanup when he's not a cleanup hitter? Okay, and then Newcomb again. Cubs not have enough starting pitching. You might as well start him. And then Bodie's playing second base when Wisdom's playing third base. Let Bodie play his actual position. And Wisdom actually even, even played some center field, and he's not even... An outfielder. This is, like, stupid. Cardinals. Donovan's not a leadoff fitter. He's got pop. Lars Newbar batting ninth is kind of a waste when he's a power guy. And same thing with Tyler O'Neill. The dude was batting third through five most of his career. And then over again, it's O'Neill and Lars Newbar, not center fielders. They, in the September, they're no longer a four-man roster. That's fine. But they got enough guys in this team who can play center field that I would rather them play center field. They wasted the DH spot on the nine-hitter. Which is silly because your nine hitter is not supposed to be your DH, and Dickerson playing right field when he could DH is what they should be doing. And then Tommy Evans batting second's been good, but he should be batting leadoff. And then Jordan Hicks again, what is he? Starter, reliever, setup man, closer. He's pitching out of the bullpen. Okay, and then the Pirates, O'Neill Cruz batting leadoff. The guy's supposed to have the amazing pop. I know he's got some speed, but he's not a leadoff hitter. And Reynolds. He should be batting third because Rodolfo Castro has been a utility player this year. Ben Gamble's a fourth outfielder, not a DH or cleanup hitter. Those are not the guys who bat third and fourth. Newman, he's speed in contact. So Winsky's a rookie outfielder. He's not a cleanup hitter yet. And Key Brian Hayes is not a leadoff hitter. Key Brian Hayes and Reynolds should be batting the middle lineup. They should not be batting one or two. And then Will Crow again, wasting his innings as a relief pitcher when he should be starting because the team is enough starting pitching. Mets. They were really great offensively when Lindor was batting third and McNeil was batting fifth, sixth, or seventh. Now McNeil's batting third and Lindor's batting second. He's kind of been screwing up the pattern and Canna batting second when he's been batting the bottom of the lineup. The Mets have a rookie up now and he's batting eighth and DHing. I'm like, that's not where you put a DH. And you also don't lose a DH when they did maneuvering. And now McNeil has to play some outfield, which is totally fine because I guess, you know, they need some outfield help, but he's an infielder. And then Canna, when he's playing center field, they always cringe because he's a first baseman out there. And then Darren Ruff, they want to get his bat in the lineup because Marte is injured, and they still want to play Vogelbach. Well, Ruff made some bad defensive plays in right field this week, and I'm like, yeah, that's just really smart managing. You know Ruff is a first baseman, so by playing him in the outfield, left field's fine, but right field is a stretch. Marlins, there's nobody great on this team. There's no amazing rookie prospect. There's no veteran. That should be playing third base. That should affect Brian Anderson playing the outfield. But they still keep playing the outfield and batting him second when you should bat him in the lineup. Fortes, Bleday, and LeBlanc are rookies. They're not middle-of-the-order hitters. And Joey Wendell is a former utility man. He's also not a three-hitter. Rojas, again, should not be batting in the middle lineup as well. If you bat Rojas first, second, or at the bottom, that's cool. Wendell, also not a shortstop. They got enough guys in this team that, that can play shortstop that he doesn't have to. And Wendell should play second base because guess what? Jazz Chisholm is injured. Red Sox. Tommy Pham's not a leadoff fitter. Batting second's okay, but that's not really his best spot. Verdugo batting second's been good because he's not a three or four hitter. Offensively, you're wasting Arroyo as a sixth hitter when he's never been a great hitter. And he's a shortstop playing first base is kind of a downgrade. The wall catcher they called up playing third base. The catch, action to catch play third base is weird when you have Arroyo and rough side utility man on the team. And Kike Hernandez, again, not a center fielder. His best offensive value is one or two at the bottom. So batting six or seven is the waste. And again, Rob Ruffschneider is not an outfielder. I saw him make a really bad offensive play. Orioles, Adley Rushman and Santan Dare are not two hitters. Santan Dare should be batting three through five. And Adley should be batting five through six or seven. Urias, a speedy contact. He has no business batting fifth or six. McKenna pitching in a blowout. That's interesting. Their fourth outfielder did that. And in the blowout with maneuvering, they lost to DH. Washington. I like Lane Thomas and their Garcia guy batting one and two. I don't want to see their Garcia batting three through four. He's a rookie, speed contact guy, not a four three hitter. He's our Hernandez, not a five hitter. He's a speed contact guy. And then I see Manana's playing right field, and guess what? Makes bad defensive plays. And this left fielder made a great play. And the next day, that left fielder's playing center field, and he made a great play. 
Maybe he should play right field, okay? Or just keep Lane Thomas in right field or yeah, don't end it. Menendez, when he played first base and batted third, he had a pretty good day. And then Cesar Hernandez. It's one thing to ask second base and play third base. But you ask them to play the outfield, and he just looked terrible playing left field, and you, you just, you're you setting him up to fail. That's really what you're doing there. Philly Schwarber and Hoskins batting one and two. He's really dumb with those power guys because then Segura, who's never been a power guy, and Stott or Rookie, you're batting somewhere between four and six. Makes no sense. And then Guthrie, they listen as a third baseman, but they're like, yeah, we've already thrown enough infielders in the outfield. Let's continue to do that. Ray, Yanni Diaz. He's not a leadoff hitter. We've been over this, okay? He's one of the only power threats this team has. Randy Zarena has some power threat, but I wouldn't necessarily make him a three or four hitter. Maybe make a five hitter. Batting leadoff was interesting because I haven't seen him doing that often. Harry Ramirez, he's a fourth outfielder by his whole career. Fourth outfielders usually don't back clean up, nor DH. Those are guys who were defensive challenged and got or got power. Batting second, I wouldn't bat him there because he's never been a great hitter. and He's not a first baseman. He's a center fielder by trade. Brandon Lau. Always should be batting second, but if you batted him third because you have Diaz and Choi behind him, that's cool, but he's not a five-hitter. And then again, wasting Beeks and Yarbrough out of the bullpen when they should be starting. Christian Benincourt, the backup catcher, pitched a blowout. That makes sense. He needs somebody. Baines is a second baseman by trade, the rookie. So why is he playing first base? And Paredes, he's a shortstop by trade. Why is he playing first base? And Aranda, again, also another infielder by trade. Why is he playing first base? They're all playing these infielders at first base when they got multiple guys. And Aranda's not a three-hitter when he's a rookie. And Choi, he's fully batting in the lineup. He's one of the only power that you got. Why is he batting eighth? And my go batting fifth kind of a waste because he's speeding defense and DHing is a waste. Yankee, I don't know what's wrong with you. Aaron Judge, we this is not a leadoff hitter. He's not a two-hitter. He probably will break the record that Maris Babe Ruth had. We're not talking about Bonds or Sosa as a number two leadoff hitter, which is weird because he could probably break the RBI record if he's batting third. He's also not a center fielder. What's the point of having Florial? And LaCastro and Aaron Hicks makes absolutely no sense, okay? Then Hicks is batting ninth or third. If I'm th- fine, ninth is okay because he doesn't hit again. Playing him in left field when you have Judge in center field, it's like, let's, it's like when you need flour or sugar for a recipe and you just say, you know what, I'll just take brown sugar even though I got sugar. It's like, it's not the same thing. It makes absolutely no sense. And then IKF is in a Kralefa. We know she's not a shortstop. He's a catcher by trade. So it's been interesting to see him play some third base because that's where you want to go glove, but he's also not a cleanup hitter. As Waldo, he's a rookie. I wouldn't put him in six when you got Judge, Stanton, Torres, Donaldson, all these power guys. He's also not an outfield. He's an infielder by trade. So again, you have an infielder playing the outfield. You have a judge playing center field. It's just stupid. Then you throw Mario Gonzalez in the outfield. I'm like, again, he's a shortstop by trade, not an outfielder. It's one thing to ask him to play first base, which is, again, silly at the low de- lower in the defensive totem. And then again, Cleaver Torres should not be bad in cleanup. That's where Judge and Stanton should be, or Donaldson. Stanton again. Why is he batting second? That's not where he belongs. Then they do our again. Throw him in the outfield with Oswaldo and Marwin, and it's just a bad defensive outfield. If Rizzo and LeMay were missing time, and even Donaldson was missing time, you say to yourself, hmm, maybe, just maybe, and Duar can play some third base or first base. I don't know. Stupid. And the Yankees are still winning, but I don't think they're going to win a World Series with this strategy. Blue Jay. We don't want a Springer, not a leadoff hitter or center fielder. When you have JBJ, Tapia and Whit Merrifield even, and then you brought Zimmer back. Those are all the guys who could play center field. Now, I don't want Whit playing center field, let alone the outfield, but at least Whit has done a lot of creatings in corner. But which that's having a great year RBI-wise. That's because they keep pushing him from second to third to fourth to fifth, so that gives him more opportunities. But he's not really a middle of the right knows Alejandro Kirk, who is the backup catcher, and he's not a DH. Maybe it's DH Springer to keep him fresh and healthy. That's what I'm thinking. Vlad Guerrero should be batting in the lineup, not second. Tapia and Espinal, speed and contact. They don't give you value batting six, okay? Nor does Biggio. And then Biggio, only to get a lineup, they throw him in the outfield, like with Merrifield, when they're not outfielders, and he's playing first base when other guys could be playing first base. JBJ, playing right field to stretch. when he's The whole point of having a value is for him to play center field. Because Kikuchi, if you're worried about the Blue Jays not having enough starting pitching, the whole point of signing him to go with Gosman and Ryu before he got hurt, and Manoa that he got a great form one through four. It really was, okay? They go trade for Mitch White, and then I see him pitching on the bullpen. I'm like, yeah. You're not using the guys that you have. At least Stripling's been used as a starter because he's a starter. Because then they have to use an opener of the Blue Jays, which makes no sense when you have all these guys who can start. Speaking of that, the Rangers, Matt Moore should be a starting this year because the Rangers don't have a great enough pitching. This Mathis utility man's DHing when they could DH. 
Nate Lau or someone else. I just I don't get it. Simeon and Seager should be in the lineup. And that's all point of getting these guys is not to bet the top of the lineup because then you got Jonah Heim, who's an inexperienced young catcher, batting cleanup when he's on a cleanup hitter. And then Josh Smith, they list him as a third baseman, so I'm like, yeah, I'll feel the stretch. But then he made a great play at shortstop. I'm like, wow. Angels, Mike Trash should be batting second because then you get Luis Renifo batting fourth and fifth. That dude's never been a leadoff, I mean, a middle of the order hitter. He's always been speed and contact. So when he batted leadoff or Fletcher batted leadoff or Mickey Moniak leadoff, I'm like, yeah, those guys make sense there. And then Ward again, he's a catcher by try playing the outfield, right field, the stretch, he's playing left field. And then Otani batted second, and they obviously, the DH been moving him around. Trout and Otani should always be batting three and four. There's no Joe Madden here to make weird lineups. I don't know what they're doing. And there's Matt Tice, dude. When I saw him playing left field the last couple of years when he's a first baseman by trade, now he's playing third base and catcher. I'm like, okay, like, what are they doing with this guy? Astros, Altuve batting lean off, even though if he's a perfect number two hitter. So when they batted Pena and Diaz one day, one and two, I thought that was great. Pena batting second was good because I'm tired of seeing Yuli Gurriel bat second because he's supposed to bat in the middle lineup. And then a day where Trey Mancini's playing left field that I haven't twice, they DH'd somebody who's batting last. And it's like a rookie. You ask the rookie to play the outfield. You don't ask Trey Mancini to play the outfield when he's on an outfield as a first baseman. Tiger, Lily Castro, and make is a bad defensive right fielder, so stop playing in the outfield. At least batting second is where he should be in the lineup. Haas, the backup catcher, you don't bat those guys clean up. Victor Reyes batting second has been great. That's where he belongs. Derek Norris, they started him, and now he's relieving him. Like, you don't have enough starting pitching. You might as well start him. And then Harold Castro, super utility men don't bat clean up, and they also don't DH. So that's wrong spot and wasting DH spot. And when you can DH Candelario and you can DH Miguel Cabrera when he comes back. And then a second, and him playing second base has been good. Kansas City. Melendez is the, not a leadoff hitter. That's not his offensive profile. And he's a catcher and he makes bad offensive plays in the outfield. So why keep playing there? Witt could, win, could have won rookie of the year, but you keep moving him back between second and third in the lineup, short and third. Just keep him somewhere. And then Taylor is not in the order hitter. Four through six is not where you put a guy who's not a great hitter. O'Hearn, again, He's your one of your only power threats. You DH him with players at first base. You already have those guys that just don't play him. He's not an outfielder. Eden, he's an outfielder, and they played him at third base. That's where I'm confused there. And then Weaver and Keller. Keller's been consistent in this rotation. They don't have enough great starting pitching, and Weaver is a starting pitcher. They should start him. Okay, and then Cleveland. Rosario, bro, this. his defensive value is better at second base, and it menaces his defensive value as a shortstop. And Rosario... Offensive value is not as a two-hitter, and a menace value is not as a six-hitter, even though he's having an all-star year. Wasting the first base on Ole Miller when you can just have Josh Naylor play first base. And Oscar Gonzalez, a rookie, it's a lot of pressure from that cleanup when you have Josh Naylor. Twins. Arise with us. He's not a career leadoff hitter, okay? He's best suited second. DHing him is cool. I just don't want to see him play first base a lot. Say so second base once, that's cool. You got created to be middle lineup, never to bat second, so that's like a waste. And then... Nick Gordon, he's speed and contact. So seeing him bat four through six is just weird. But at least he's playing second base. Kyle Garlick, he's a power and strikeout guy. So batting him leadoff is stupid. And again, he's a first base in DH. And they don't really have a set first baseman with no injured or set DH. Why is he playing the outfield? Urshela, he's never been a cleanup hitter. He's an okay offensive player. And then Aaron Sanchez pitching out of the bullpen. I mean, a starter is whatever. Then the Reds, Kyle Farmer, you know, he's a catcher by trade, not a shortstop. So I'm glad to see him play some third base. But if he's your only power threat, that's kind of bad. If he's your third hitter, Solano's your five hitter, or when Solano's batting third, and Fraley's DHing and batting fourth. When Fraley's out there for speed and defense, it makes no sense. Again, Solano's an infielder, not a second baseman by trade, not a first baseman. Nick Senzel, what offensive value does he give you batting seventh when he's speed in contact? And again, this team has a bunch of center fielders and Fraley, Fridell, Almora. There should be no reason he's still playing center field. Lopez, utility infield at this point, not a DH nor an outfielder. And then, again, since El batted second was great, Reynolds batting seventh doesn't give me offensive value because he's a super utility quad A player. And then Reynolds, on the shortstop, you should know Ben's playing first base. And they call it the steer guy who's been playing since first base. And I looked it up. He is a first baseman. So I'm like, cool, stop playing Reynolds and Solano utility guy. Let's see what this young guy can do. Then they throw him a third base when he's not a third baseman. Aquino's batting so low in the lineup some days. I'm like, what are you doing? He's your only power threat. He actually batted clean up once, pretty much. Brewers, Cutchin and Yelich are not leadoff hitters. You got both of them to be the middle of the lineup. And that's a intimidating lineup with them, Telez and Hunter Renfro. Colton Wong batting fifth is silly when he doesn't have power threat and he should be batting one, two, or eight, or nine. And Bersaro being a first baseman by trade playing third base is always a stretch. But again, he's not a leadoff hitter. 
Dime backs. Josh Rojas has been pretty good offensively, but he's, I wouldn't consider him a leadoff hitter. He's not the speed and contact guy. Marte batted second a lot this week, which I thought was cool because I finally realized maybe that's where he belongs. Then he stopped. They actually play him second base. That's his actual position right now. But then when they went back and said, never mind, we're going to put him fifth when he was batting third. I'm like, yeah, he's not an RBI guy and he's not a DH. Dalton Varsho, we know, is not a leadoff hitter because the dude's going to hit 25 home runs probably this year. Leadoff hitters don't hit 25 home runs or bad second. They bat in the middle lineup. He's also not a center fielder or an outfit. He's a catcher by trade. So I would like maybe play him in left field or DH him or play him at first base. And McCarthy, the rookie, should be not batting third. That's where you bat power, guys. And Carson Kelly is an okay offensive catcher. He's not, the, he's not Will Smith, so he's not be batting leadoff. Rocky's McMahon, he paid him all this money, and he played third base. That's why Chris Bryant play, would play the outfield this year. So play him second base for some other guy. It's just really stupid financially and stupid managerial tactic. And he's not a leadoff hitter. He's a power guy. Blackman's been perfect in the three spot or back in his old leadoff spot. Not a cleanup hitter. He's never going to hit 100 RBI or 30 home runs. This Montero guy playing third base when it says he's like a first baseman. Again, it's stupid when you already have a third baseman, Nick Mann. Randall Grichik, not a leadoff hitter. You got him for the bad middle lineup. And he's also not a center fielder. Hampson's a shortstop. Why play him in center field? When you got Dobbs and Hillard. Then Rodgers. I'm glad he got to play a lot this year. But he's not a four and five hitter. And then they acquired this little Met. He's not even starting. And then Gomber is not even starting because, I don't know, they started some nobody. And they didn't trade anybody at the deadline. So it's like, well, we got no other choice. Dodgers, Mookie Betts and Trey Turner batting one and two. They've done most of the year. But again, Turner's best value is second. Betts value is third. Will Smith is a good offensive catcher, as I mentioned, but he's not a cleanup hitter. And if Ballinger is your eighth or ninth hitter most days, what defensive value is going to have when you have a former MVP who's never been the world's greatest outfielder because he's a first baseman, play, still plays center field when he is a bad hitter right now and he's not a great fielder, so that's just stupid. Then Will Meyer, and then... I don't know what I wrote. Then the Dodgers maneuvering lost a little bit of the DH. Mookie Betts playing second base one again. You have Hans Roberto, Gavin Lux. It just makes no sense there. Muncy batting second again. He's a middle yard hitter. He's not a two hitter. And Trace Thompson, you got him off their speed and defense, and he's hit some home runs, but he's not a two hitter. And then a cleanup hitter. He should be in the middle of the lineup. Padres, profile, we don't know. He's a shortstop by Trey playing left field. It's fine because they're still doing the whole one soda in right field when he's playing left field. And what offensive value does Jerickson Profar give you batting seventh? At least speed and contact first, I'll take it. Soto, again, should be middle lineup, not batting second. Colonel Worth, best offensive value is the top or bottom, not batting fifth. Sean Manai pitching on a bullpen when you got him to start. And then Will Myers pitched in a blowout. I guess you're making him do that, but at least he's playing some more first base. And then they lost a DH maneuvering. Maybe not, not the Dodger. Atlanta. Ronald Lacuna is not a leadoff hitter. We know he should be middle lineup, but at least he's not playing center field. Swanson, I liked him batting second, also batting fourth. Those are good spots for them. But Grisham and Harris, the rookies, you brought it. When you called Harris up, you made him your eight, your nine hitter to get all the va- uh, pressure of him being a leadoff hitter. And Grisham batting eighth, took all the pressure. Now they're batting sixth. And then Ozuna, who's there for offense, and Rosario are batting eight through nine. Makes no sense. And Grossman, yeah, you can bat him with the final line. He's never in the world's greatest hitter. And then Contreras batting a fifth ahead of Ozuna, Grossman, and Rosario. It was weird. When I know he's having an all-star caliber season, but he's not a five-hitter. He's the backup catcher. And then Kyle McHugh wasting innings as reliever. We'll keep it over this. He should start. And the Mariners. Julio Rodriguez having a great rookie year. But batting him third this year, I thought was silly. And batting leadoff. Batting him second? Maybe. Batting fifth or sixth? Cool. Ty France is a power guy. He should not be batting second. And then Frazier, what offensive value does give you sixth or seventh when he's a speed and contact guy? Makes no sense. And J.P. Crawford batting ninth is better than him batting sixth or seventh because he's a second leadoff hitter. And Matt Boyd... You got him to be, you know, your uh, starting pitching. Well, pitching on the bullpen. And then Haggard, even though he's a second base player in the outfield, I know he's made some great plays, but still. And then when you look at the Abraham Turrell, I'm glad they're playing him. But again, he's not second base, he's a third base by trade. And Mitch Haniger took out Ty France at two spot. Okay, that's fine. But I would rather Ty France bat third every day. And Cal Riley, he's a nice offensive rookie catcher at this point, or young catcher, but he's not a cleanup hitter. You got Santana and you got. Suarez, White Sox, Yamakata. I don't want to see him bat second because at least with uh, with Vaughn, he's been making lots and lots of contact. Okay, I like Sheets batting fifth and Vaughn even batting seventh because that gives you a spread lineup. I don't want to see Robert bat seventh and then I also see Yo Yo bat second when Robert should be in the two spot and let's throw Moncada towards the bottom of the lineup until he proves himself more. Because Robert makes a lot of content, he's got speed, he can steal a lot of bases. That makes more sense. 
Batting pile fifth or sixth when you got Sheets and you got Vaughn, and it just makes no sense. Maybe him batting second would have been okay because he was batting lead off earlier. Again, when he plays center field and you got Vaughn and Sheets on the side, it's just like a bad defensive outfielder because this is the first year in a while he's playing a lot of center field. Garcia, again, he's seeing him in the outfield, which is fine by me because he made a lot of infield errors this year. Elvis Andrews batting first has been great because he's been on a streak. Roman Gonzalez, when he bats six, it's like a stretch. He's batting the bottom of the lineup. Eighth. Tony Kemp batting leadoff is cool because he's speed in contact. But again, he's second baseman by trade. Stop playing in the outfield. Seth Brown. I'm glad to see him bat three or four because he's one of your only power guys. But he's not a first baseman. This team has a bunch. And then when he got the plays at outfield, I'm like, cool, cool, cool. But then center field, a little bit of a stretch, even though he's in the center fielder by trade. He hasn't played center field in a while. Loriano, if if you're not playing Loriano in center field and you're going to play the guy you got from the Braves, Chris Pache, cool. But again, Loriano should not be playing right field. He's always playing center field. And he's also not a fourth hitter or a leadoff hitter because he's never been a great offensive player. He doesn't make enough contact to be a leadoff hitter. Pinder, never should be batting third. He's a utility man, and he's also not an outfit, the second baseman. And then Langer Lear is the rookie catcher. I'm glad he's in the lineup. But again, DHing him, you want to get him to catch, but he's also not a cleanup hitter. And Murphy, on the flip side, is DHing because you're playing Langoliers. Again, he's not a great offensive player to DH. And his best offensive value is not third. You got enough guys in the team who can bat middle lineup, and he's also best value is not to bat second. So, makes no sense there. Thank you for listening to another some LB Observations in week 23 for the 2022 season. I'm Radar for Entertainment Blog. See you guys next time.